Welcome back, everybody. Derek Sue, your 2022 Oakland mayoral candidate. Have you ever bought a, a filet of salmon like this? You notice how orange it is. That that's actually food coloring. They they put a coloring in here to really make it that orange because uh, it looks more appealing. And so anyway. Uh, this was frozen and so one of the problems that i've always had in, in the past was a lack of flavor and texture you know after i cooked it or smoked it in this case i'm going to smoke this for tomorrow night because i'm going to be making uh it's tuesday so i'm having fish tacos tomorrow night so i'm going to smoke this but what i have to do to restore the flavor and wash out some of this dye I'm going to brine all of this. And so I'm going to cut it into sections and I'm make, making the brine right now. And all the brine is, is just kosher salt and brown sugar. And so I'm going to use a half a cup of kosher salt into boiling water. <clears throat> and then after that, we're going to measure out one cup of brown sugar and put it in here and then stir it and then uh, that'll get it ready uh, let it cool down and, and uh, then once it's cooled we're going to put that brine into this Tupperware <clears throat> and then we're going to let it soak in and we're going to put it in the refrigerator until tomorrow when we actually uh, start the smoking process so uh, we'll be back as soon as I get everything prepped. Okay, here's the brine, and it's just about up to a boil right now. We've stirred it, so it's just coming. So we're gonna turn it off, let it cool down, and in the meantime, we're gonna cut this into sections, probably just taco size sections. And then we're gonna put it inside of the Tupperware, like I said earlier, and then we're going to pour that cooled brine on top. And then that, like I said, will flush out some of that dye uh, that's in here. Uh, while it's not really harmful, I mean, here you can, you know, you see the dye right here. You know, people think that that's uh, part of the fish. No, that's the dye leaking out from the flesh of the meat <clears throat> so anyway but this is a coho salmon right there so it's much healthier for you than the cheap Atlantic salmon that you see in your grocery stores you see where Atlantic salmon uh, ranks it's 24th and then here we have coho and this is Alaska typically uh, and so uh, these are uh, higher in uh, the fatty acids that you want and then wild sockeye being the best but, uh, we're going to remove get this all cut up put it inside and then pour the brine in it then after that it's going to go into the refrigerator for 20 24 hours or until tomorrow so we'll be right back Okay, it's been about an hour now, and things have chilled down. The brine has cooled off, and so I'm going to pour this over and you want to cover the fish pretty well, and um, the, the cold fish will continue to chill the brine down but also allow the brine to soak in and so we want to make sure that all the fish is covered we want to leave the skin on especially when when we cook it because that's what's going to hold the fish together so anyway this is going to go in the refrigerator till tomorrow it's going to chill and tomorrow when we come back we should see kind of a, a, a 
light brown, uh, a brownish orange. Uh, it's, uh, that's the sugar that now has soaked into the flesh of the fish and then also uh, displaced the orange dye or actually it's a yellow dye uh, that gets shot in there so we'll see this tomorrow morning welcome back everybody it's been 24 hours now that uh, the fish has been soaking in the brine. So I'm gonna turn the camera around, show you what's up. Okay, here's the fish and it's all been soaking overnight. And you see the little globs of uh, oil there from the fish. <clears throat> and the water, the brine is actually kind of orangey and that's the dye. And so you see how the flesh here has gotten much lighter color now. We got rid of a lot of that orange uh, uh, dye. And so right here, there's still a little bit more orangey than uh, what came yesterday. And then moving over <coughs> here to the grill, what we're, we've done, we set up the charcoal. We don't want to use a lot of charcoal because we don't want a lot of heat. We're, we don't want to cook. We want kind of a cool smoking here. And so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to get the charcoal started and then we're going to put the, the fish on to smoke for a couple hours. And then tonight, today is Tuesday. It's Tuesday taco night. And so we're going to have fish taco here. I've invited a few friends and we're going to have uh, fish tacos. So join us back here when, when things uh, are finished smoking here. I'm going to get underway and uh, get things going. Okay, we have the charcoal lit. It's uh, warming up right there, cleaning up the grill. I've set the fish off the fire, way in the back of the grill. And so this way, only the smoke uh, is going to be going to the fish and then indirect heat. So I'm gonna close this up right now and uh, let this uh, start going to work. But I want you to take a look. Here's the brine from yesterday after the fish has soaked in the brown sugar and the salt. This is what the brine looked like yesterday. That's very brown. This is very a washed out orange dye or yellow dye, I should say. And so you see what came out of the fish and what went into the fish was the sugar and the uh, kosher salt. So we're gonna let that uh, cook for a couple hours, actually smoke for a couple hours, and then we'll be right back. Welcome back. Two hours later, I just put some fresh coals in and we're gonna do some more smoking. The, uh, the temperature has been really nice. It's been cool inside uh, between uh, 170 to uh, 200 degrees and then there's been smoke so you see what's going on here I just uh, brushed on some uh, olive oil on top so that I don't dry out the meat uh, with this heat and it's going to continue cooking or not cooking but smoking for another couple of hours and so like I said we put more coals in we're going to raise the heat up now is uh, we want to get a lot more smoke and we want to uh, make that skin on the that's down on the uh, grill. We want that to dry out and get crispy. And so uh, we're going to see how that turns out in a couple hours. So see you in two more hours. All right, these have finished up real nice. You can see that it turned a, a nice candy uh, brown glaze. That's from the brown sugar that was absorbed. 
and then you can see the fat that squeezed out. You can see the original color right here still, uh, that it's a real deep orange from, that's the dye that, because that portion of, that portion of the fish didn't get into the brine all the way. And that's what was sticking out this morning in the refrigerator. So that's what that is. And so I'm going to be removing these and putting them into these trays for cooling for later. And then I'm going to start uh, the last portion, uh, another uh, meal for uh, tomorrow night, which is going to be a chicken. So I'm going to grill a chicken in here now that I'm going to remove all of that. But uh, we'll be back uh, with the fish tacos this evening as I'm getting them prepped and served. See you then. Okay, everybody, we are down to the home stretch. I've heated and browned the tortillas here. These are corn tortillas. I, I cooked them on this uh, grill. And now what I'm doing, I'm warming up a piece of fish. So there's the fish that's going to go in some of those tacos. The taco shells are, are pre-formed and they're still warm. So I'm just waiting for this to heat up. Didn't get to the store to get the coleslaw, so we're going to use spring mix. And we're going to use the uh, correct cheese for fish tacos. And that's the Cotija uh, cheese. And it's... A hard cheese so I've already grated a, enough for tonight so we're ready for that and then fish taco sauce on top so right now we're going to go ahead and put everything together and we'll be right back okay we've got the tacos the fish on the tacos got the little bit of lettuce we're going to put the cheese on top bit of cheese here and whoops right there and then we're going to work on getting the taco sauce put on here and actually I should have put the taco sauce on first but we're just going to pour a little bit on there and then we're going to put a little more cheese on sprinkle a little bit more on there because I like cheese I like cheese on my fish tacos and this is really good cheese so anyway there it is folks <coughs> smoked salmon fish tacos with the, the uh, spring mix <coughs> And then also we have uh, smoked salmon and then the Kavita cheese.